Hi there, I'm using an ATEM Mini ISO Extreme. That's an awful long name. And I frequently find myself having an audio problem where I either get some major feedback in the background or I have no audio at all and can't trace it. So this video is for myself. Uh, so the next time I can try some of these things and for anybody else who's kind of running into the same problem. Now, just so you know my setup, I have a Zoom uh, that's X-O-O-M, uh, I think that's X-O-O-M, maybe it's Z-O-O-M, um, piece of hardware that picks up my audio through a mic and then transfers it into the uh, ATEM through one of its audio inputs. And this is just a little lavalier mic I have doing the job. So when I do have a problem, and right now it's good, the very first thing I'm going to want to do is make sure that my microphone is turned on. I have failed myself on that one, so make sure you got the on button lit up on the mic that is plugged into the back of your ATEM. I open up the Mini Extreme software control panel, hit the asterisk in the lower left corner, let me minimize myself, the star, we click on audio, and these I have toggled on and off, I'm quite frankly not sure which they're supposed to be, I know only one of them is actually being used, so that's all that really matters. But I have had situations where I had zero audio and the simple toggling of this provided audio. So, not sure what, why, how, but that's what happened. On the general side, we've got some options for setting the input to line in, microphone, or microphone plus plug-in power. Uh, presumably, we can run the, plop, the microphone directly to the ATEM and this will provide the phantom power necessary. Uh, the line or the microphone, not sure what the difference is, but uh, it is a line out from the Zoom device that I'm using going into here, so I've used that and it tends to work. But again, I found toggling those in cases where I have no audio provides audio. Now, if you want to look at the audio, you can click on this here, and you should be seeing what we're seeing here. Round mic number two is lit up, that's the one I'm plugged into. If I shut up, You see, there's still a low-level hum there somewhere in the background that I haven't isolated. You really should isolate because when you stop talking, there should be nothing there. But I'm willing to take that out in post-processing for now. Uh, that gives me what I need. Now let's just give you a sample of what this audio sounds like because I've been recording this. All right, we'll play back that recording. Hi there. So the audio is very good, but you can detect that slight low-level background hum. In fact, I'm going to go over a dead spot so you can hear it more clearly. You hear that? Right, I'm going to turn my volume up so you can really hear it more clearly. Now, what I do post-processing, I could use Camtasia. They have a sound deadening feature. Um, but it doesn't work as good as this next method I'm going to show you. I'm going to export the entire video. So let's say you've sliced and diced and trimmed. You've got exactly what you want. Export it as an MP3, M4A, whatever it's going to be. And I'll just call it Test Audio. Put it in my downloads. I'm never going to use it again. Okay. And we'll export that. It takes very little time to export audio. Let's open the file location. Now it's in downloads. And now I'm going to open a free program called Audacity. And let's open that exported audio clip. All right. And now you can see the, in, the periods in between here, these dead spots. That's where we're going to have that sound. All right? Okay. With that selected, so select an area of, of deadness where you uh, have nothing but the background music. Choose uh, Effect, Noise Removal, and Noise Reduction. And Get Noise Profile. 
Now it's going to take a profile of that area that you just selected and use it. And now we're going to select everything by doing Control A or Command A on an Apple. We're going to go this, do the same thing, Effect, Noise Removal, Noise Reduction, and we're just going to hit OK. And that's going to apply the previous selection to the entire clip. Watch what happens to that area. Look how small it got. So we'll play back that same area. Very, very minor. And I've got my music, my uh, sound up quite a bit. So let's go, let's go ahead and export as an MP3. Okay, test audio MP3, that's fine. Because the other one was an M4A, so they won't trip up over each other. Again, audio clips are very small amount of time to get them exported. We don't need to save that. Now we're going to come back here into our movie editing program and I'm just going to silence the audio on the original clip and we'll do an import. Import the MP3 and then once that's done importing we'll drag that to the timeline and if all goes well it's going to measure up perfectly with your previous recording except now let me turn my audio back down to normal okay you can see I got, how loud <laughs> I, I have this minimized but I'm not sure how I did it okay back to the audio for all practical we purposes there is nothing anyway that's what I do with my item ATEM if I'm having problems and these I have toggled on and off. I'm quite frankly not sure which I hope this helps you in your world. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.